So today we're going to be talking about the Centurion Arms CMR rail system installation. Now the rail comes in three lengths, 9.5, 11, and 12.5 inches. The CMR also has four QD sling points and on the 9 and the 11 has more cuts to reduce weight. Next thing you're going to want to do is take your standard rifle, pull back the delta ring, and remove the handguards. This will give you access to the barrel nut later on. Remove the flash hider from the outer barrel. Now sometimes the flash hider is glued, pinned, or set in place with a set screw. Either way, you're going to want to remove those so you can get the flash hider off. Now, you're also going to want to punch out the pins on the front side post. Sometimes you'll also have it says a set screw on the base of the front side post. If there is one, go ahead and remove it as this will allow you to remove that entire assembly. Now at this point, the entire assembly should slide off without a problem, leaving you with a pretty clean profile of the outer barrel and the rifle. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove the upper and lower receiver and any internal components like the inner barrel and the hop unit. Now you're going to want to use an armor's block a vice and an armor's wrench. If you don't have those, you could still get away with using at least the armor's tool, but uh, the armor's block is basically going to protect your rifle from any possible damage. Highly recommended and definitely the safest way to remove the barrel nut from your rifle. Next, you're going to take your Centurion Arm CMR rail system and remove the three screws as well as the barrel nut that's proprietary to the rail. At this point, you will slide on the CMR barrel nut onto the upper receiver and securing the barrel into place. Make sure you test the fitment of the barrel nut with the upper receiver. Make sure there's no wobble with the barrel nut or any part of the receiver and you should be good to go. Now slide on the CMR rail system, it should mate perfectly with the upper receiver after it slides over the barrel nut. Next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and take those three screws, secure them to the base of the rail system. This will lock it onto the barrel nut and give you a nice secure fit. At this point, you're going to want to reassemble your rifle, making sure you replace all internal components that you may have taken out of the gun. Next, you're going to want to slide the gas block and gas tube over the outer barrel. There's a spot for the gas tube itself to sit at the rear of the rail system. At this point, you can go ahead and flip over the rail system and you'll be able to see the set screw at the base of the gas block. Go ahead and tighten that down, it'll secure itself to the outer barrel give you a nice secure gas block and helping you finish off the look of your rifle. At this point you can really customize it to your heart's content and don't forget that the Centurion Arms CMR has a wide array of accessories and rail panels to go along with it. So make sure you guys check it out on our website ptssyndicate.com as well as ptssyndicate.us. Thank you guys for watching, see you next time.